Welcome to the spoken tutorial on playing video using YouTube API. In this tutorial, we will learn to create a project in Google Cloud, enable the YouTube API, initialize the YouTube player view in Android Studio, run the Kotlin app and play the selected video. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 operating system, Android Studio version 3.x and Android phone with minimum of Android OS version 4.03. To follow this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of Java programming language and Android Studio. If not, then go through the relevant tutorials on this website. First, let us create a project in Google Cloud. Open a web browser and go to the website cloud.google.com as shown here. Click console at the top right corner of the window. Maximize the window if you don't see the console option. Accept the terms and conditions of the Google Cloud platform. Then sign in or log in with your Google credentials. I have logged in already. A dashboard opens. Now we will create a new project to mention the APIs that we will use in the Android app. In the top menu bar, click on Select a Project drop down box. Create a new project by clicking on New Project button at the top right of the dialog box. In the next screen, type the name of the project as My Kotlin Project. Then click on Create button at the bottom of the screen. Then go to Select a Project drop down box. Click on My Kotlin Project that is created just now. The project dashboard is displayed with the project name My Kotlin Project. Now we will enable the YouTube API in this project. Open the navigation menu at the top left corner. Click APIs and Services, then Dashboard. A new dashboard of APIs and Services appears. Click Enable APIs and Services at the top middle of the window. In the search box, type YouTube. Select YouTube Data API V3. Click on the Enable button. After few seconds, the API will be enabled. Now, select Credentials in the left sidebar or click on Create Credentials button. This will create new credentials. Let us click on Create Credentials drop down and select API key. API key is generated and shown under your API key. Copy that key and save it in a text editor for future use. Then click on the close button in the dialog box. We will use this key in our apps Kotlin code to load the YouTube video. In Android Studio, we don't have any tool in the palette which can play YouTube videos. But YouTube provides its own YouTube player view which we can use. The view just needs to be initialized directly to play a video from YouTube by giving the video ID. Open the web browser. Now let us download the required file from the developer website. Go to this website. A download option is provided under download link column. Click on download. Then click on save file option and click on OK button. A zip file gets downloaded. Extract the zip file. From the extracted folder open lips folder. This folder contains YouTube Android Player API.jar file which we can use to play YouTube videos. We need to copy this file in our Android Studio project. So right click and select copy. 
Let us open Android Studio. Open the project ST Search. Once the project completely loaded, go to the left panel and select Project tab. Right click on the App folder and select Show in Files. The file explorer opens showing the project folder. Open lips folder. Right click and select paste to copy the YouTube Android player api.jar file into lips folder. Close the window. In the left panel under project go to gradle scripts. Double click on build.gradle within brackets module colon app. In the dependencies block, we will add a new dependency. At the end of the block, add a new line as shown here. A sync now message appears at the top right corner. Click on it. Wait for the Gradle build to complete. Now, we will edit the layout file for third activity. Go to activity underscore third dot XML. Here, we will display the YouTube video. At the bottom of activity underscore third dot XML, click on text mode. Now, we will write our own code for YouTube player. Between the tag of constraint layout, type the below code. Now, again, go back to design mode by clicking on the design button at the bottom. We can see a view with the name com.google YouTube player view with a grey colored background. Now we shall set its constraints. First, hold and drag the YouTube player view box little lower. Now we can clearly see the constraint circles. Join the top, left and right circles to the boundaries as shown here. Go to attribute window and type the ID attribute as YouTube underscore player view. Change the layout height attribute of YouTube player view to wrap content. Now let's place a text view below this to display the video title. Drag a text view and drop it in the layout. Set the top constraint below the YouTube player view. Set the left constraint to left boundary. Change the ID attribute of the text view to YouTube underscore title. Next, we will write the code to play the video. Go to thirdactivity.kt To show YouTube video, our class should extend YouTube based activity. Change the class declaration code as shown. Now, we will add code in our onCreate method. So, First, we will create a variable to store the API key that we got from Google Cloud Console. So, declare the variable below the toast command as shown. In the place of your key here, paste the API key which we saved in the text editor. Now, we will set the text of YouTube underscore title. Type the code as shown. Next, we will make an object for YouTube player view. So type the code as shown here. Next, we will initialize the player view. For that, type the code as shown. The code will initialize the YouTube player with the selected video ID using QVideo method. If it fails, it will show an error message as toast. We have typed all the necessary code. Now let us run the app. Select the FOSS and language and click on the search button. We can see that the video thumbnails get loaded. Click on anyone. The video plays in a new screen. Go back and click any other video thumbnail. Once again, the video plays in a new screen. Spoken Tutorials ST Search app is now ready to launch. Please follow the steps in the given link to become a publisher. 
This is the official link where the registration is to be done. Once completed, you will be able to publish or upload your Android app on Google Play Store. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to create a project in Google Cloud, enable the YouTube API, initialize the YouTube player view in Android Studio, run the Kotlin app, and play the selected video. As an assignment, select different FOSS and language combinations and play the selected video. The video at the following link summarizes a spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEA ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. The Android app and the script for this tutorial was contributed by Abhishek Shah. And this is Nirmala Venkat along with the Spoken Tutorial team from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.